Ryan Yuta Willigan says his book entitled Killing John Wayne, The Making of the Conqueror highlights ups and downs of the 1956 movie, The Conqueror. Filming took place near nuclear testing sites in Nevada that were only 153 miles away from the film set in St. George, Utah. The ensuing radiation reportedly caused more than 90 out of the 220 members of the cast and crew to develop some form of cancer and die later on. The book dives headfirst into these stories from the making of the movie. The book gets into the history of nuclear testing, why it started there, sort of the behind the scenes fascination with uh, what nuclear testing was viewed as during that time. And in the 40s and 50s, it was new and exciting and kind of marketable. People were visiting Las Vegas so they could stay in a hotel and feel the rumble of the nuclear uh, bombs that were being detonated nearby. Yuta Willigan says the producer of the movie, Howard Hughes, called up the Atomic Energy Commission and asked if it would be safe to film the movie near the nuclear testing sites. The commission gave him a resounding yes to the question. And the crew was sort of, eh, I, I don't know about this. And it was John Wayne who just said to everyone, it would be un-American if we left right now. And so he was the one who led the charge. He even, there's a famous picture of him with a Geiger counter, which, you know, he's counting the radiation in the area and he just wanted to prove to everyone that there was no negative radiation in the area and the Geiger counter apparently just went berserk like off the charts and he's like oh this thing must be broken <laughs> and evidently it was not. You can buy the book Killing John Wayne The Making of the Conqueror on Amazon or by shopping at Analog Books in Lethbridge. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.